What are algae? While many people assume that algal blooms mean there is something wrong with an aquatic environment, algae are actually a naturally occurring feature of aquatic environments, with most species being safe or non-toxic. Algal blooms can appear in many different forms, including free-floating plants, a scum-like substance on the surface of a body of water, or even a general discoloration of water. You can even detect the presence of algae when no visible evidence exists by a musty odour coming from the water. Through sampling and speciation of an algal bloom, our scientists are able to identify the community structure of an algal bloom present and make decisions on how best to manage the bloom. But what is algae? The biggest hint comes from the fact that we refer to outbreaks of algae as algal blooms. Yes, algae is basically a form of aquatic plant. Algal blooms occur when several factors combine to make a hospitable environment for their growth. These factors include the amount of nutrients, specifically phosphorus and nitrogen present in the water, the temperature of the water and the amount of sunlight and its ability to penetrate the water. While algal blooms are a natural part of the aquatic environment, some blooms are toxic and humans should avoid swimming or drinking from bodies of water where algae is present until it has been cleared by an authority such as Water New South Wales. While most algae are harmless, some types of cyanobacteria are not. Although commonly referred to as blue-green algae, cyanobacteria is actually a photosynthetic bacteria that lives in water. Cyanobacteria can produce toxins that can pose risk to livestock and cause public health issues for humans. Fortunately, Water New South Wales and our partner agencies are well experienced in managing algal blooms in water storages and have well established contingency plans.